Hi there, it's Lowell Pepworth here, and I thought I'd show you how to set up a normal store on Facebook. I've already done the video in the course about setting up Shopify and payment gateways, but this is just a very simple way if you've got a website with some PayPal buttons or something kind of similar, but let's have a look. So you may already have a shop tab here, and if you do, then you have to agree to the merchant terms, policies, and start setting it up. I'm going to assume that you don't. So let me just um, go into the settings. We'll go in. So here it is, top right settings. I'm opening it up in a new tab. Edit page. And at the bottom of the page, there's an option called tabs. Um, you add a tab and you'll have shop in there. So you add that tab. Once you add the tab, it's here and you can move it around. So you can have it number one or number two, put it where you want. Where's mine? Third one down. Okay, so we'll leave it there. Settings, show shop tab, off, on, turn it on. <laughs> and that's the URL to copy and put in your email newsletter or Facebook or something like that. Click save. Once the shop You've gone to the uh, settings, edited it, the page, added the shop tab. Now it's going to appear here. Of course, if you already had it there, you didn't have to do that. So that's okay. Click on shop, agree to the merchant terms and policies. I know you're not going to read them, but you probably should bookmark them so you can read them later on. <laughs> I, it'll tell you what you can sell, what you can't and all that sort of stuff. Treatment of user data. Mm. I bet they're going to talk about how they use credit card information for marketing, not sure. Anyway, continue. Um, choose how you want people to buy products from your shop. Now, do you want them to message you? So they click on a product and they click, I want to buy this. And then you get a message, they want to buy it. And then you can take money through PayPal or something or check out on another website. So I'm going to choose to send them to my blog where I'll put my courses up and offers and things like that. And then they can click and buy. If you have a lot of different options like um, many sizes and colors and your website doesn't really cater for that, maybe you just have a form they have to fill in which says what size they want, what color they want, and then you invoice them or something, then use the message to buy. But if you have a straight funnel, you know, click purchase done, then use this one. So I'm going to click continue. What currency? I'm going to say Australian. I think my shop's all Australian. Yes, it is. My courses. Save. So the shop is now up and running, but I need to add products to it. So let's have a look at how to do products. Get rid of that. All right. So now we're going to look at products and I also need to fill in the description of what I sell. So I'm going to add a product here. Now I can add videos. So if you've got promo videos for your courses, click and add them. You know, Hi, I'm running a course. Would you like to come along? It's awesome. This is the type of person you are. This is what I'm covering in the course. Love to see you inside. Da 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 da. Lifetime access. You know how to do it. <laughs> Otherwise, just a photo or something like that. So add a video. I'll do that later. Um, name. Name of product. How to. Make a gazillion dollars on Facebook. Except you're not allowed to do that and they'll tell you off. You can't promise people that they're going to make a lot of money. So I might say Facebook for your business and it's the advanced module. I put in my price, um, 175 Put in a little bit more than what you normally sell it for, just in case you want to run a coupon or a special offer for Mother's Day or for friends or something. And you can tell them if it's on sale 
I don't, I don't like that. And then fill in the description. So I always put in here for my courses, the curriculum and learning outcomes. You know, at the end of this course, you'll be able to blah, blah, blah. Uh, who the desirable student is. Uh, you, you're a small business that wants to learn Facebook or you're a marketing manager that wants to learn Facebook. For your product, um, try to really nail this because Facebook will also pay attention and if it sees if it sees keywords, it will try and deliver it to those people. So don't go for the everyone. Try and say, you know, public relations people or dudes who like surfing and T-shirts. Be really very specific. The checkout URL, so you can send them directly uh, either to the landing page or if they love you and love your products, you might want to risk actually sending them to the coupon direct URL. Um, share this product on your page. So this will go straight up onto the page and then click save. And what you want to do is you want to have three or four or five of these ready to go. You want to have the videos ready, the photos ready, all the text and everything ready to go. Because in the next set of videos, I'll show you how to add other products underneath the main product. You end up with a window with there's the main product and then um, a gallery of products underneath. So try and have at least three. If you've only got one course or one product, that's fine. But if you have got more, then we need to be ready to go. So I'll get that all done and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Thanks. <laughs> okay, so I'm on my page and I click on shop and I've got a few of my courses there. You'll have a few products and I'm going to add my third product. So I go to my course, Udemy, and I choose, that's my logo, but I'm going to choose get link, copy that link. And then over here, click add product, add a photo, select the file. I need one that says Twitter in pictures. And somewhere in here is my little smiley face. There it is. I'm matching the branding across them. Use that photo and the name is that one. Might not fit it all in. No, it does. Price, 200, uh, it's US, but that's okay. Might, um, I can shift it to Australian shortly because you did me automatically change it depending on who's looking at it. I'll have to find out what they're charging in Australian because this is going to be targeted at Australian. Now the description I tend to take from my course landing page because that should be optimized anyway. Remember it's learning outcomes and curriculum and who the course is for and so on. Check out URL. I want the coupon code which I had copied and then lost again. <laughs> there it is. I'll get the link. This code doesn't work anyway, but that's fine. Paste it in there. Share this product on your page. I'm not going to. I don't need to post created from it. I'm going to delete it actually after I've done this course, but video, <laughs> but then click save. And as they come through, they'll say processing underneath. They still need to be approved. And then once they've been approved, then the pricing is there. And later on, we'll do a collection. But now I've added three products to my shop. And if I choose one of these, just drop that down a little bit. They, people can go to the website and we can see different details. So that's how you take a Udemy course, put it on your Facebook page in a shop, and then you can run um, 
promotions and that sort of thing from your Facebook page. It's, I was going to say it's pretty easy. I think it's a little time consuming, especially if you've got more than one course, you'll need to put them all up. And I would suggest that you stagger out the posting so that people don't just get a deluge of 24 courses, I think I've got, um, coming through the Facebook page all in one go. So anyway, I'll see you in the next lecture. Let me know if you've got any questions. Thanks.